Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a distinguished companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Colin Mees of Tekuiti, for services to rugby and to the community. Mr. Mead's distinguished rugby career included 360 first-class games, 133 appearances for New Zealand, and 55 tests. A former New Zealand Rugby Football Union councillor, he served 20 years on its management committee and was the King Country Union's chairman. Mr. Meads is a former All Black selector and manager, a trustee of the New Zealand Rugby Foundation and the International Hall of Fame. He is chairman and patron of the King Country branch of the IHC and formerly a member of the New Zealand IHC committee. Mr. Meads has been president of the Youth Sports Federation of New Zealand. To receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Jill Amos of Auckland, for services to the community. Mrs. Amos was a Manukau City Councillor for 10 years and for three years a member of the Auckland Regional Council. She has served as a member of the Auckland Hospital Board, the New Zealand Board of Health, and is a founding member of the AIDS Foundation. In 1994, Mrs. Amos was a United Nations observer at the South African elections and was the convener of the Auckland Committee of the Nelson Mandela Trust in 1995. The Most Reverend Dennis Brown of Hamilton, for services to the community. Bishop Brown was the Roman Catholic Bishop of the Cook Islands and Niue from 1977 to 1983, Bishop of Auckland from 1983 to 1994, and since 1994, Bishop in Hamilton. Bishop Brown served as a Territorial Army Chaplain from 1970 to 1975, and was a missionary priest in Tonga from 1975 to 1977. Dr. Joan Chappell of Auckland, for services to medicine and to the community. Dr. Chappell is believed to be the first New Zealand woman to qualify as a plastic surgeon. She retired in late 1995 after a career that has earned her widespread admiration and a reputation for her work on wound treatment. In the area of hospital accident and emergency work, Dr. Chappell gave dedicated and outstanding service in treating a variety of conditions. For many years, she worked at the Fori Rapuara Women's Health Clinic in Glen Innes, providing health services to Maori women.
Mrs. Audrey Eagle of Dunedin for services to botanical art. Mrs. Eagle has made a major contribution to recording New Zealand's unique trees and shrubs through her writings and paintings. Her paintings have been included in many botanical publications for over 30 years, including Eagle's Trees and Shrubs of New Zealand in Colour. Mrs. Eagle is a member of the Royal Forest and Bird Protection Society and served on the New Zealand Conservation Council. Emeritus Professor George Knox of Christchurch for services to ecology and biological science. Professor Knox has been a leader and expert in marine biology and ecology in New Zealand, Antarctica and the Southern Ocean for over 50 years. He was Professor of Zoology at the University of Canterbury from 1959 to 1983 and since his retirement he has been an Emeritus Professor and an environmental consultant and scientific writer. Professor Knox is the author and editor of, of numerous papers and books, including The Ecology of the New Zealand Seashore and The Natural History of Canterbury. Your Excellency, may I now call on the Acting Secretary and Registrar of the Queen's Service Order and the Herald of the New Zealand Order of Merit to summon others who have received appointments to those orders. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a Companion of the Queen's Service Order for Community Service, Mr John Husband of Taramere Bay in Riverton. Mr. Husband is a well-known and respected talkback host at FOVO Radio Southland, who is also committed to the arts and community activities. He has been involved with the Anderson Park Art Gallery for over 40 years, lately as its director. Long interested in music, particularly jazz, Mr. Husband has played with many visiting national and international musicians. He also has a special interest in nurturing young musicians. receive the insignia of a Companion of the Queen's Service Order for Public Services, Mr Ross Allen of New Plymouth. Mr Allen has been Chairman of the Taranaki Regional Council since 1989. From 1974 until 1986 he was a member of the Taranaki County Council, which he chaired for three years, and after which he was Chairman of the North Taranaki District Council and the Taranaki United Council. Since 1986 he has chaired the Taranaki Business Development Board. Mr. Allen has supported a variety of community and sporting organisations, including Tourism Taranaki. To receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Dr David Beecroft of Auckland, for services to medicine. Dr Beecroft enjoys an international rep reputation as an expert in the field of paediatric pathology. Recently he was elected president of the International Society of Paediatric Pathologists. Dr Be Beecroft has numerous research achievements and has made a major contributions in the, area of in the areas of sudden infant death syndrome and childhood cancer. He chairs the Cancer Society's scientific committee and has supervised the pathology components of the New Zealand Cot Death Society.
Dr. Karen Cooper of Hastings for services to science. Dr. Cooper, a plant scientist, is a world authority on certain aspects in plant growth and is manager for the horticultural science at all levels in the Hawke's Bay region. Dr. Cooper is active in the administration of horticultural nationally and is a member of the Minister of Education's Education Development Initiative Panel to investigate education resources in Hastings. Dr. Lawrence Croxon of Turangi for services to dental health. Dr. Croxon was a pioneer in the development of, clin of the clinical classification of periodontal disease, which is used worldwide in surveys and daily practice. He was executive director of the New Zealand Dental Association for 15 years, and in 1976, Dr. Croxon was the national coordinator of a landmark survey on adult oral health. Commodore Alan Peck of Lower Hutt. Commodore Peck joined the Royal New Zealand Navy in 1965. Since January 1998, he has held the appointment of Assistant Chief Resources in the headquarters of the New Zealand Defence Force. He has been responsible for the development, implementation and maintenance of innovative systems within the Defence Force to assist with the management of resources for its operations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Maureen Aitken of Plymouthton, for services to the community for over 30 years. Mrs. Aitken is a leading director and actor at Mana Little Theatre, of which she is a past president. She judges the local school's annual talent contest, coaches children's theatre, and helps arrange local jazz concerts. Mrs. Aitken is a volunteer driver for the Crippled Children's Society and organises group outings for elderly Alzheimer's sufferers. Kerry Ashby of Manico City for services to rowing. Mr. Ashby has been dedicated to the sport of rowing at every level for over 50 years. He competed at the 1950 Empire Games and won two silver medals in Vancouver in 1954. He competed in the 1952 Olympic Games and managed the New Zealand rowing team at the Montreal Games. Mr. Ashby is a life member of both the West End Rowing Club and the Auckland Rowing Association Executive. Mr. Bill Bailey of Auckland, for services to athletics. Mr. Bailey is regarded as one of New Zealand's best runners, competing in distances between 800 yards and six miles, and in cross country and the 10 miles road race. In 1963, in the one race, he broke two world records held by Emil Zatopek. At one time, he was ranked seventh in the world and held the world record for the 20,000 meters. He won 12 national titles. Between 1954 and 1966, he represented New Zealand in the Olympic and Commonwealth Games. 
Mr. Bailey now competes in Ironman and other veteran events. Mr. Richard Bentley of Manico City, for services to the community. For more than 30 years, Mr. Bentley has been active in many South Auckland community organizations. Since 1959, he has held various scouting appointments, including chairperson and leader of jamborees, and he is currently assistant area commissioner's special duties. Mr. Mr. Bentley is also involved with the Papatoitoi Bowling Club, is president of the local historic society, and since 1993 has been a Meals on Wheels volunteer driver. Dr. Catherine Bowden of Fongaray, for services to public health and to the community. Dr. Bowden opened a family planning clinic in 1961, and in 1962 helped set up the Marriage Guidance Council. She is a former vice president of the Asia region of the International Planned Parenthood Federation. For eight years, she was a member of Northland Hospital Board and served three years as president of the Diabetes Northland. Dr. Bowden became coordinator of Tutukaka Coastal Health Care in 1998 and a volunteer at North Haven Hospice in 1999. Mr. Phil Broadhurst of Auckland for services to jazz music. Mr. Broadhurst is a musician, composer, teacher, broadcaster, and advocate for New Zealand jazz. He represented New Zealand at the 1986 Singapore Jazz Festival, and his album Fabric was the first jazz CD to be, re to be released in this country. Amongst his compositions are film scores for documentaries and feature films. Mr. Broadhurst has, since 1991, been the compiler and presenter of the weekly jazz show Cross Currents for Radio New Zealand's concert program. Mr. Graham Burgess of Auckland, for services to cricket. A cricket administrator for over 45 years, Mr. Burgess is a Cornwall Club founder and past chairman and president and current patron. He is a life member of the Auckland Cricket Association, serving on its management committee for five years. Since 1952, he has helped run the county week cricket tournament. He was instrumental in the introduction in 1965 of limited over cricket to New Zealand, and was also at the forefront of the formation of the Cricket Society of Auckland. <laughs> Mr. Ken Chan of Wellington for services to the Chinese community. Mr. Chan has been assisting members of the New Zealand Chinese community for over 40 years. Since 1969, he has been chairman of the Sayep Association, which provides social services to migrants. He is past president of the Wellington Chinese Association and chairman of Wellington Waterfront Chinese Garden Project. Mr. Chan has been a voluntary advisor, supporter, and interpreter for Wellington Chinese since 1958.
Mr. Jesse Crutchley of Renfurley, for services to farming, local bodies, and the community. Mr. Crutchley is a past president of Otago Federated Farmers and has served on the Dominion Council of that organization. He was the Maniatoto County Chairman for three years and a councillor for 29 years. Mr. Crutchley chaired the Community Trust for 24 years and was a member of the Tyree Lake Domain Board for 36 years and is currently its chairman. Mr. Mr. Crutchley has also been active in a number of other local groups. Chief Fire Officer Patrick Davidson of Stoke. Chief Fire Officer Davidson joined the Stoke Volunteer Fire Brigade in 1980. In 1999, he became the youngest national president of the United Fire Brigades Association of New Zealand. A health worker since 1978, Mr. Davidson is currently a clinical nurse specialist in the intensive care and coronary care units at Nelson Hospital. He has also served 23 years with the Air Training Corps and is currently Flight Lieutenant on the Reserve of Officers. Mr. Andy Leslie of Petoni for services to rugby. Mr. Leslie was an All Black between 1974 and 1976, during which he played 34 games, including 10 tests. He is a former New Zealand Rugby Player of the Year and, a trust, and was a trustee of the Halberg Trust. He also represented New Zealand in softball. Since his retirement from rugby, Mr. Leslie has remained active as a coach, administrator, and commentator on the game. Mr. Graham Lindsay of Blenheim, for services to economic development. Mr. Lindsay contributed to Manawatu's economic development for 20 years. He headed the development and design team that built Palmerston North Cinema 6, New Zealand's first multiplex cinema operation. In the late 1980s, he was involved with the formation of the Manawatu Commerce Centre, lately known as Vision Manawatu, and in 1998, he was appointed chairman of the centre. The organisation attracted $20 million in investment and created 410 new jobs. <laughs> Mrs. Jessie McGimpsey of Waimati, South Canterbury, for services to the community. Mrs. McGimpsey joined the Waimati branch of the National Council of Women in 1960 and is a past president of the branch. She had been a member of Age Concern and Save the Children Fund for many years and is a life member of the Willowbridge County Women's Institute. Mrs. McGimpsey joined the local branch of the Red Cross in 1939 and worked, worked in its war effort. She has been a fundraiser for the Red Cross ever since, some 62 years. Major Andrew Dunn of Christchurch. Major Dunn served in East Timor from April to November 2000 as officer commanding a field surgical team. Under his leadership, the facility conducted many life-saving operations for New Zealand service personnel, United Nations employees, and the local population <laughs> under, uh, under extremely difficult conditions. 
Major Dunn promoted high environmental health standards, helped develop a district health plan in the Cova Lima and the southern Bubonara districts, and initiated a district-wide TB immunization plan. Major Dunn also secured medical supplies for aid agencies working among the local population. Warrant Officer Marine Technician Propulsion, James Hayes of Auckland. Warrant Officer Hayes joined the Royal New Zealand Navy in 1973, and from which he retired in March 2001. He was the Navy's fleet boiler inspector during his last four years of service and helped develop the revised upkeep policy to ensure HMNZS Canterbury's high level of operation av operational availability. In addition to his fleet responsibilities, he assumed the Marine Engineering Department Warrant Officer role on the Canterbury. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal for Community Service. Mr. Les Carrick and Mrs. Nancy Carrick of Dunedin. Mr. and Mrs. Carrick have been assisting children and young people for almost 50 years. Mr. Carrick has been heavily involved with the Knox Church Scout Group for nearly 50 years and was a warranted leader for 35 years. Mrs. Carrick was a cub leader for two other groups. Together, Mr. and Mrs. Carrick were foundation members of the Baden-Powell Guild of in Otago serving as committee members and holding the positions of Guildmaster and Secretary. They have been generous supporters of local schools and other groups. Mrs. Nina Crawford of Waiuku. Mrs. Crawford has been involved in many community organisations in the South Auckland area for almost 40 years. She joined the Otawa and Plunkett Society in 1963 and later became its president. She has been involved with the American Field Service since 1981 and has held numerous roles including chapter president with the organisation. Mrs. Crawford was instrumental in establishing the arrival orientation camps for inbound American field service students and helped organise the AFS 50th anniversary celebrations. Ms. Gillian Davies of Wellington. Ms. Davies has been the, been the voluntary coordinator of the widowed, separated and divorced support group since 1991. The group works with people who have lost a partner through separation or death. As coordinator, Ms. Davies is responsible for the running of the group both in Wellington and in the Hutt Valley. The monthly parent help meetings and the National Association of Loss and Grief. Ms. Lois Duncan of Wellington. Ms. Duncan, a registered nurse, has been assisting many community charities in the Wellington area for over 20 years. 
She initiated the concept of the Mary Potter Hospice Christmas Raffle and has been its principal organiser for 15 years, raising over $150,000. For the Foundation for the Blind, Ms Duncan has voluntarily delivered talking books to hundreds of visually impaired people and acted as a driver for blind people. Ms. Pat Fowle, why he? Ms. Fowle, a retired school teacher, has been involved in many community organisations in Why He for over 40 years. She is both President and Secretary of the Why He SPCA and is a life member of the National SPCA of New Zealand. Ms. Fowle has been, a has been a voluntary driver for the Blind Foundation and the Meals on Wheels service since 1990 and has been involved with the Forest and Bird Society since 1997. Mrs Judy Fowler of Auckland. Mrs Fowler has been the Civil Defence Welfare Officer for the Monacal City Council for 10 years and previously served as a well volunteer welfare officer for five years. Currently Mrs Fowler is a trustee of both the Auckland Volunteer Centre and the coordination of volunteers in the Auckland organisation. She is Chair of the Neighbourhood Support District Committee and a member of the Network Committee and Deputy Chair of the Monacal Victim Support Board. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal for Public Services, Mr. Ashley Bell of Levin. Mr. Bell has been involved with Horofenua community organisations for many years. He has given over 40 years of voluntary service to the Horofenua Agricultural, Pastoral and Industrial Association and was made an honorary life member in 1983. Since 1985, Mr. Bell has been involved with the Radio Reading Service. He was a member of the Rotary Club of Levin for 29 years. Mr. John Blumsky of Waikoku Beach. Mr. Blumsky has dedicated nearly 50 years to broadcasting in New Zealand. He pioneered radio talk back in Christchurch in the 1970s and has taught the practical aspects of broadcasting journalism to generations of radio presenters. In 1979, he earned a Mobile Radio Award for his coverage of the Mount Erebus air crash that was carried by the world media. Mr. Morris Clark of Wainui Mata. Mr. Clark has been involved with many voluntary organizations in Wainui Mata for over 10 years. He has helped handicapped children attend the Special Olympics, built retirement homes, and worked with youth. Mr. Clark has been president of the Wainui Mata Red Cross Society for the past eight years and is vice chairperson of the Citizens Advice Bureau.
Mr. Trevor Collings of Papakura. Mr. Collings has been an honorary fishery officer in South Auckland for almost 30 years. In this role, he has patrolled the wider area of South Auckland, acting as the local area coordinator. He has contributed to several periodicals, such as Fishing News, and has assisted the Minister of Fisheries in media forums. Mr. John Gadsby of Hastings. Mr. Gadsby has been a volunteer firefighter for 36 years. He joined the Danny Virk Fire Brigade in 1957 and has since served with the Waipoka Round Hastings Brigades. Lately, he has been a fire force commander with the Hastings District Council Rural Fire Authority. Mr. Gadsby has been active in the work of the Wellington Provincial Fire Brigades Association, of which he is a past president. Station Commander Willie McLean of Wellington. Mr. McLean has been involved with volunteer fire brigades for over 45 years. He joined the Johnsonville Volunteer Fire Brigade in 1953 and progressed through the ranks until his appointment as Station Commander in 1989, a position he held until his retirement in 1999. In 1995, Mr. McLean was an inaugural member of the Wellington Consultative Police Community Committee that was set up to find solutions to crime problems within the community and enhances public safety. Mr. Warren Oliver of Greymouth. Mr. Oliver, a master builder, has been a firefighter with the Ikimatua Volunteer Fire Brigade since 1994. In 1999, he voluntarily assumed responsibility for the construction of a new fire station with associated social facilities after the Fire Service Commission approved a minimal sum for a new station. Senior Station Officer Nick Pupich of Blackball. Mr. Pupich, a truck driver and farmer, is the officer in charge of the Ikimatua Volunteer Fire Brigade. He joined the brigade in 1981 and was appointed Station Officer in 1997. In 1999, he volunteered to help with the building of a new fire station for his small rural community. Your Excellency, that concludes the investiture.